my name is Nicola White and welcome to the Treasures in Lockdown series. Now what you're about to see is a varied collection of treasured finds presented by the young people who found them over the years. Now a couple of weeks ago I invited the young mudlarks amongst you and the young detectorists, speech comers and treasure hunters to send in clips or have their parents and guardians send in clips of themselves presenting their favourite finds and their collections. And I've received so many that I've had to make two Treasures in Lockdown videos, so you're either watching number one or number two because the intros will be the same. But first and foremost, a huge thank you to all of you who sent your clips in. It's just brilliant to see them. And it's so wonderful to see the excitement and the passion in your faces. So keep doing what you're doing, keep collecting and keep researching your finds because you never know where that passion might lead to. So we've got a real treat in store for everybody here. We've got pottery, pipes, bottles, bird skulls, got everything you can think of. And so without further ado and without any order whatsoever, here are the treasures in lockdown. And we also have a special bonus message from my Mud Buddy sci finds at the end. So I hope you enjoy everyone and thank you again to all you wonderful, inspiring, young history seekers and nature collectors for sending in your clips. Thank you. Enjoy. Hi, I'm James. I'm five. I want to show you a Vulcanite bottle stop. A bottle stop that has a crown on it, a eye, and a pipe, and another pipe, and another pipe, and another pipe. Well, what sort of pipes are they, James? They're a man. They're the plant. Uh, they're the old one. There's a knobbly one. There's a face one. There's a shoe one. And there's a man weaving up a tree pipe. There's a um, printer's presser, pirate's eyework, and a stone report. Night. Thank you for watching. Hi, Nicola. My name's Riley and I'm nine years old. And my name's Milan and I'm five years old. And we really enjoy going down the foreshore, so we thought we'd show you some of our finds so far. And these are our collections of pottery. And these are our collection of pebbles. And these are... And these are our favourite stones. And, and these are wishing stones. And if you find one, make sure to make a wish with them. And these are some seashells. Um, these are some of our very old bricks, which are used in these two amazing photos. And these are our glass shards, which are really, really pretty. And no, they won't, they will not cut you because they are not sharp, which are in these photos with some of our pipe stems. And we are so jealous that you keep finding full pipes. These are also some of our metal pieces, which which we find at Magnet Fishing. These are our bottles that we found at a different part of London. We hope you enjoyed it. Stay Thank safe! You. Hello, my name is Cecilia and I'm seven years old and I found um, like this domino with it has 11 dots on it five on one side and six on the other side and it's 18th century and it's a bone domino and then i've got a coin which is from the 16th century 
and it's really old and it's quite flat that because and it was when they didn't have queens or kings and then I found this with a star on it um, and I think it's a token and then there's I found a huge garnet which um, was a semi-precious stone and no one knows how they find them on the river and then I found this in Tilbury it's a little china cat white and it's really nice I just found it lying in the sand then I've got my most precious fossil which is really old and then we've got um, a really pretty bit of pottery with lots of flowers on it. They're actually 3D, they're not just on, they're not just painted on, but they're actually 3D. It might be, it might have been part of a plate or maybe a flower pot. And I've got some UV beads, which means they, they glow in the dark. And I've got a special torch and then they light up in there. It's quite cool. There. And then that's all that I found. My name is Finley Greg and I'm from Colorado. My lurking videos and it would be my dream come true to mudlark in England. Metal. We started metal detecting when COVID started and we found some pretty awesome things. Like, like this, this weird thing, I don't know what it is. It looks like a teacup, a, a metal teacup. Handle. These are some of my finds I want to show you. This is a arm army little figure that I found in my yard. These army toys I found together, and they're really old to toys kids played with back then at our house. And this is a musket ball. This isn't, we don't know what this is, but um, things in Colorado aren't as old as things in uh, England. And horseshoe, and we find lots of nails, lots of square nails and a ra railroad tie and a shot old bullet. These toys are from the 50s and they're, they're army toys that, that are World War I um, uh, found in our yard. Our, and they did a really high signal on the metal receptor. Yeah. This, this is, I don't really know. We don't really know what it is, but I, I just noticed, I, I think this is like a part of a gun, like the bottom of a gun. And like, like he's like in the war right now. Hi, my name is Polly and I go mudlarking in Deptford um, around the River Thames and I would like you to show you some stuff that uh, we, me and my mum have found. Um, so, we have collected pipes and the first time we got one, a man came over and said to, and set, gave us a pipe and um, and gave us a pipe and we were really confused but we w wanted to find uh, some pipes ourselves so we did and um here we've uh, got our collection of pipes you can see we have some 
almost um, bowlers, and we have an almost bowler uh, with a pipe on the end. Uh, we've been trying to find a bowler, but we also have um, some nice pottery. Uh, one of um, particular piece of pottery we don't we we don't know what this is really it sort of reminds me of a brick but we don't know what this is but this we think is from the Georgian times and it's really quite nice reminds me of a uh, snakeskin actually um, but we've also found another thing which is quite rare and it, um, it was a, a Georgian bird feeder. Um, it would be found, it would probably have been found in a bird cage in the Georgian times. And we found it, and I thought it was a squashed um, plant pot, even though it was made of lead. So um, we picked it up and found out that it was a bird feeder, and it was actually quite rare. So, um, yeah, it's very nice. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing all these uh, mudlucking finds. Bye. Hi, I'm Mark. I dive so I, I dive so I I dive like collector's sound. So you don't have to say that. Hi, my name is Silas and I've been mudlarking since October 2020 and I'm going to show you a collection of my finds. I've been watching Nicola White and Sci Finds on YouTube and it really inspired me to go out and get some luck in the mud for myself. Right, over here we found loads of horse teeth and we were very lucky enough to find a wild boar tusk which was eaten during um, Tudor London and over here these are scribes which for writing with during Victorian times the children used to write them with and over here we've got the a button which is made out of bone and we've got a mother of pearl button and we've got some more mother of pearl and we've got a metal button which there's some letters on it but you can't quite see what it is this is a lid from a toothpaste pot from a chemist in Plymouth. This is a teacup which has, um, we looked on the picture and it looks like there's some horses and some dogs are hunting. There you go. Right, this is some old nail and metal work from either a boat or a dock because we were mudlarking near some docks. This is our collection of pipes and pipe stems, which the first time we got really excited and we are still really excited of finding them today. This is a clay smoking pipe with a castle design of Derry Castle and the word Egypt on the bowl. The pipe is decorated on, on the bowl with an insignia of the Royal Inskilling Fusiliers, an Irish infantry regiment with a long history. This is our complete collection of um, pipe stems and, and our bones as well, animal bones. This is an old PepsiCo bottle and the logo is very hard to see. This is a Singer sewing machine oil bottle. This one at the back is an old ginger beer bottle from Rochester. This one here with the cork still in it is an old bottle of Liam Perrins. Right, this bit here is all salt glaze, and over here we have got a handle of a terracotta pot, and we've got part of a Bellamine jar, and we've got Stuart pottery here, and then we've got Tudor pottery there. We think all of this is Victorian pottery, all of this stuff here. our glass selection and over here we've got really thick green glass and we've got a big 
heavy bottle from Chatham. Chatham. And then we've got um, over here, we'll manage to be lucky to find part of a poison bottle. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll be able to show you some of my finds later. Bye! Hello, um, we found all of this on the south east coast. Um, and also, let's get right into it. Okay, I found this which looks like the, um, front of a wood star. If you look closely, I kind of really like it because it looks like a sword when you go like that. And you can do dab, dab, dab. And also when you do this, it looks like the end of a wizard stab, and I think I like that. Watch it! Okay, and then I found this, which is um, the end of a fisherman's rope. And I like that too, because it's very, very rainbow. And I don't really no! 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 No, this is a bit! And then I found this, and which are uh, <laughs> hagstones. And I... My nan says when you wear this, you, um, they're, they're very magic. They're, when you wear this, you become magical. Um, and also, what I like about this is it's very heavy when you want to like go like that. And when, when you're running, you can, you know, get stronger legs. <coughs> and then, um, you see that bit? That bit, if you look really closely in the light, there's little lines on it. Hey, this is the fish egg I saw at the beach. And what else have you found on here that's your favourite? What's here? Can we see? S sea grass and this cool stone. Why do you like that stone? Because it has little black squibbles on and some detoured on it. It it does look like that. Yeah. Storm, what else have you got there? Um, I found this. Uh, my nan found these two, and you see, this might be an oyster egg, and I think it's a giant one. I think it used to be connected because of that. Whoa! And also, this is connected. Do you know? Do you know what this tissue? Um, do you know what this is connected with? It's tissue. Uh, it's a clamshell, actually. A, I found this. It's, it's a clamsh. Do, do you know? Do you think this is a fossilised plant? Who knows? Um, and what about these pieces here? What are these, Storm? I was going to do Do you remember what those are, Oak? It's fossilised... Words. It's fossilised wood. And what do you like about this? It's... You can make nice frames from them. And, and you can draw a bit on this one and this one. And what do you like about and this one? It's flat and you can draw something on it. You could. Is there anything else you want to show? I, I, me! This is kind of a working ball thing. I think that's a piece of driftwood. And also, I found. And, and, and also, and, and this nan, is a bit heavy. And also, oh. my nan found all of these, and I think this is a bit from a plastic. Cut because the pillow fell from, down. Um, a bit of um, poo. Or I think that's plastic yeah. as well. And I th this is a bit of pottery my nan found somewhere. So why do you two like beach no, larking no, so much? No, because we no, find interesting no, things. No, 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 find it, I found it. Oh, well done, Oak. Okay. We, we, we like this because we love beach combing. Hello, Nick Wright. I'm Henry from Kent, and I've been mudlarking for quite a long time now. Now, I've been told to, sh to shove some... To show some things I have found over lockdown. So to start off with this coin. Now I don't know who's on this. I don't know how old it is. 
and I don't know what type of coin it is. So, yeah. Okay, next we have some, well, a lot of teapot handles over here. So this is one example. Okay, next up are these teapot. Well, parts of a teapot. And I have two of these. One is a bit better than the other. Example. Now next. We have this thing that I don't know what it is. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what it is. Yeah. Do you know? Okay. Well, that's all. Thank you, Nicola White, for letting me be in this. And, well, that's all. Bye. Hi, Mud Larkin fans. I'm Kelly and I'm Mate, and this is my sister. And I'm called Amber, and I'm six. Yup. And we're going to be showing you some of our Mud Larkin stuff. So, first up, we have this um, bowl of a Vic. Victorian pipe and I really like the patterns on it because I think that's a wolf and just, there's just a lot of detail and this is a marble yep. with um, like a, a shell in yeah. it and some detail it looks like toothpaste Mm -hmm. And then we uh, have these three marbles. That marble looks like it's fossilised. Like half of that marble <laughs> fossilised. We've got another nice mint and white marble here. And we've got this um, nearly see-through, well it's not see-through one, but it's um it has something really cool in it and like wavy things around it <coughs> yeah like this <laughs> yep see and then uh and oh yeah um and this is an olden days bracelet and it's half broken because it's not that long and both of the sides aren't equal, so we know it's mm, broken. broken, yeah. And last, but definitely not, last but definitely not least, is the crystal we found. It looks like a crystal, and it definitely is a crystal, and Amber has been keeping it warm in her hands. <laughs> uh, bye! Hope Bye. you like my first YouTube video. Hello, I'm Josie. These are a few of the things that I found on um, beaches around the Bay Area. The first thing I found was this piece of a navy plate. And on the same beach as the navy plate, we found this bottle, which is completely intact. It says, Bobo Link Bottling Company on the bottom. Then, I have a lot of pottery pieces from the Tepco Company. Almost all of them were found at um, 
a beach in the Richmond that used to be the dumping ground for the um, unused or unwanted TEPCO pottery pieces. TEPCO stood for the Tepti Technical Porcelain and China Work Company. And it was uh, used in diners and restaurants all over the Bay Area. Until the factory burned down. Then, this is one of the more interesting ones that I found also on that beach. It has flowers on it. While most of the stuff from the, the Tepco stuff is rough and like... Um, this one has a little bit of flowers and is very smooth. This one has very common design, it seemed. It looks like leaves and sort of in pink. This one has stripes. This one was also from Tepco Beach, but I'm not actually sure if it's from the same company. It has, it says USA. Looks like the bottom of a mug or teapot. And, and has a picture of a, a little fancy letter P inside of a tent. I also have two pieces of Clorox bottles. I don't know where these came from. And what looks like the neck of a Coke bottle. Hi there, my name's Amelia and your mud locking videos really relax me. Here are some pieces that I've found. During the first lockdown, we went to Highlight Village with a ruins from an old church. These are some pieces I found. I found a little tiny what looks to be a plate. It has a pretty flower pattern. I found a very old piece of pottery I think but I'm not quite sure what it was from. And this is, I have no idea what this is but it's kind of cool. And this one I actually found by my home. We were digging, we were trying to take away a big bush and, my, and I found this little um, boy or girl, I can't tell, little figure. She's a bit damaged though. I go down Barry Island a lot with my mum and my dad. Here are some things that I found on the beach. I found this amethyst. And it, and it really hurt my foot, but, I, but it's quite cool. This one, when I went with my nan and uncle, I, w I was walking along the beach and I stepped on something very sharp. I digged it up and washed it and I found this quartz. I have been collecting keys since I was five years old. It would be my dream to find a key while I'm mudlarking. All these keys have been found in, in charity shops, but I do have a story to each one. My favorite one is this one. It's from Medieval Times. It's quite weird, because I don't know what type of hot, um, thing that would be for. This one looks like it would be from, like, Jordan Times. This one looks like a wardrobe key. These two keys are both from Victorian Times. And this one, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's got a very interesting key end to it. I've always wondered, Nicola, if you've 
ever found any keys while you're mudlarking? If so, what was your favourite and why? Thank you for watching my video. All right, mud lovers, Sci Finds here. I just want to say what a fantastic job all you young mudlarkers are doing. You're doing a great service by saving all this history and learning about all the stories that they hide within them. So keep on sharing your finds and have a fantastic 2021. Oh, who's that? Oh, got someone else who wants to say a quick few words. Hello everyone, I'm the doll that Sai found in that dump. So if you're lucky, you might find some old toys too and get to rescue them. Now I've got a joke for you. Which pirates dig up the treasure? Archaeologists. <laughs> Sorry about the bad joke, I'll go back on the shelf now. And in case you're wondering, that was Minerva. I dug her up in a bottle dump and every now and again, she whispers little words of wisdom in my ear. So there we go. Have a fantastic year and get some more luck in the muck.